audience, welcome to Psychiatry Education Forum Academy's updates. I am Dr. Harvinder Singh. So we have a new FDA approved medication. And this time, this is the first oral medication approved specifically for postpartum depression. And the medication is called Zuranolon. I hope I'm saying it right. But you can read more about this in the post link below, psychiatryeducationforum.com slash Zuranolon. And uh, this is approved for the postpartum depression in adults. And in this short video, I will only focus on how to dose it. But please wait for the full video as I have something else to mention in the end. So how do you, how will you dose this medication? Uh, this is available in three capsule formulation. It's not tablet that you can break it in half. So three capsule dosing available are 20 milligram, 25 and 30 milligram. But starting dose is none of these, right? <laughs> so the starting dose is 50 milligram. So you have to give two 25 milligram capsules together and it has to be given in the evening time after dinner. And important point is it has to be given with dinner with fat containing food with focus on at least 400 to 1000 calories containing 25 to 50% fat. Very important. And the other important point here is this is not uh, recommended for a few months or so. It's only recommended for 14 days, which I love it. So this is only for 14 days uh, for this dosing. But one of the major side effects of this medication is that sedation, drowsiness, and confusional state. So if any of those uh, CNS depression symptoms happen during the treatment, you can reduce the dose to 40 milligram, which is 220 milligram capsule and finish the 14 day course. But there are few indications where you will not start this medication at 50 milligram or 40 milligram, but the starting dose will be 30 milligram for 14 days. And these indications are number one, patients with severe hepatic impairment, you start low or patients with moderate or severe renal impairment, you start low. And third is strong cytochrome P450-3A4 inhibitors because this medication is mainly metabolized through this cytochrome P450 system. So higher level can go up. And uh, due to the GABA me mechanism, the risk of sedation and overdose risk is high. So you go, you know, 30 milligram for those patients. Now, I have discussed uh, this medication in these sections uh, in our academy lectures. So where I have spent time on uh, understanding the mechanism by reviewing past literature, you just listen to how to dose and when to use the low dose. But uh, I have also discussed how to manage the missed dosing, when to avoid this medication, when to discontinue, any major contraindication, important drug interactions to consider, what were the most common adverse reactions seen in the clinical trial, how about using it with breastfeeding and during pregnancy, um, and the two important clinical trial data that resulted in this approval. But friends, I have no disclosures of, with this medication, with this pharmaceutical company or with any other pharmaceutical company for that matter. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to Psychiatry Education Forum Academy. But you can read this uh, blog post by going to psychiatryeducationforum.com slash Ziranalona. So thanks again for listening to this short video. I will see you in our next educational discussion. Till then, you all take care and bye for now. Thank you again.